Welcome to our webinar, Check of Mechanical Installation of Process Vessel Scales. I'm Matthias Rehren and I'm globally in charge of the business um, with Tank and Hopper products and industrial scales for integrators and OEM. In the next minutes I will give you some advice about topics which have to be checked um, after the setup and installation of a process vessel scale and before the electronic commissioning. When we look at the mechanical installation, um, we look at the very important conditions uh, to, ach to achieve the accuracy which is specified by the customer. The accuracy of a process vessel scale is the result of mechanical conditions and a good measuring chain. The mechanical conditions have to be ensured by the vessel manufacturer, so probably you, uh, and the integrator. The quality of the measuring chain is in hand of the supplier of the weighing equipment. That's us. Of course, we would like to give you some recommendations how to improve the accuracy of the mechanical installation. All our work in design and installation must focus on the minimization of errors to achieve a good accuracy. If we look at this slide, this graph, we will see the performance of an ideal process vessel scale. An ideal pro process vessel scale has a pure linear relation between the uploaded weight and the electrical signal which is generated out of it. So what you, what you can see as a straight line is what everybody wants to expect. We as a manufacturer would like to manufacture and offer such equipment which achieves this um, performance and you as a user or integrator would like to um, set up your scale in the way that it performs like this. The reality however looks a little bit different. Each scale, whether it is a fabricated, prefabricated scale or um, a customized scale, has a certain uncertainty. This means the result, the measuring result, um, is somewhere beyond the straight line. So there is a certain zone of uncertainty. We call it like that. Call it like zone of uncertainty. That means sometimes the measuring result is a little bit beyond up on the upper side of the uh, of the ideal line, and sometimes a little bit below the ideal result. This is due to mechanical errors of the installation and also errors of the measuring equipment. The thing which has to be done at first is the load cell installation has to be checked. Um, following questions have to be looked at and, um, and checked on the installation. First, is the load cell positioned vertically? or is it tilted already? We will look at this. What, what this means. Second, is the top plate of the mounting kit which accommodates the load cell, is it parallel and in line with the bottom plate or is it displaced or eccentric? Third question is regarding the foundation. Is the floor horizontal or inclining? And the fourth and the last one is are, are the constrainers at the mounting kits freely movable or fixed? We're looking at the first topic, load cell inclination. In many installations, rocker pin load cells are used because they are most flexible regarding vibrations and thermal expansion of the vessel. Rocker pin load cells allow a displacement from the vertical line up to 10 millimeter without being damaged, but the more it will be tilted, the more an error will be caused. So that means um, tilting of the load cell at the beginning of installation should be minimized as much as possible. With the Minibia Intec 6201 compression type load cells, the error will be minimal but not neglectable. And as a rule of thumb, you can say that within an angle of one degrees, the error will be less than 0.1%, which is caused by tilting. The second um, 
component or product which has to be checked is the mounting kit. You see here a load cell installed in a mounting kit, type PR6001. And the mounting kit provides several features to allow a proper alignment of the load cell and the mounting kit. So you see um, on the upper side and the bottom side, on the left and right side, there are slotted holes. The slotted holes allow a precise positioning of the top above the bottom plate. And moreover, there are positioning marks at two sides of a mounting kit which allow to check the exact position. So with the slotted holes, you can move the um, bottom part or the upper part of the, of the mounting kit in a position so that finally the position mark comes in line. Yeah? If both marks on this upper plate and lower plate are in one line, then the alignment is done well. And you have one position mark in front and you have another uh, position mark at the side of the mounting kit. So with these you can perfectly align the setup. <coughs> After fixing the mounting kit and defining its position and aligning it, uh, it shall be checked if the constrainers are freely movable. If the constrainers are blocked, um, there would be side forces applied to the load cell which affect the measuring result. You can check the alignment of the constrainers by moving it a little bit, twist, trying to twist it by your hand. Yeah. If this is possible, then there is enough freedom for the constrainer. If uh, it's completely blocked and it's not possible to twist it, um, then you have to adjust uh, the mounting kit position or also the constrainer. Looking at the floor level, um, it is self-understanding that for a process vessel scale the floor should be even and horizontal. However, in many industries this is not the case. For example, in the food industry or pharma industry, floors are quite often inclining. Why? Because the floor needs to be cleaned. Therefore, the civil engineers don't think about the weighing solutions, but they think about the hygiene. And at the end, um, the technicians find a floor which is not suitable to provide a horizontal foundation for the weighing system. So, as a rule, there should be provided a stable foundation of an even surface. The inclination angle should be 0 0.5 degrees maximum. In case the floor is inclining, which is inevitable sometimes, horizontal foundation spots should be designed. That means either a, a circular platform or a ring or even only foundation spots on which the mounting kits are bolted, which then provide a completely horizontal surface. The foundation itself, made of concrete, must be designed to take the full vessel weight. Uh, that's, that's clear. The um, uh, foundation should not break under the load of the vessel. It's also something which has to be designed by the civil engineers. And finally, make sure that the mounting kits can be bolted or welded properly to the ground. That means there should be uh, enough thickness in concrete and there should be no steel um, implemented or so which could inhibit the proper bolting. If we look at the upper part then, um, the flexibility of pipes must be ensured. A pipe connection is a necessary part of a process vessel scale. Many process vessel scales have a number of pipes, but the higher the number of pipes is, the more the accuracy or the more the impact on the accuracy will be. Um, all pipes on a process vessel scale must be made flexible using horizontal parts or horizontal pieces. Um, vertical pipes should be avoided wherever possible and if you have a vertical, pi vertical pipe uh, please also enter a horizontal part uh, which allows an easier um, deflection or an easier movement of the pipe in case if there is any compression or expansion of the vessel. So 
the ideal combination, the ideal solution is a combination of vertical flexibles and horizontal flexibles, which decouple the complete pipe system from the vessel's body. Moreover, the length of the flexible tubes must allow an easy deflection. It should not be too short, and the flexible must be elastic. You have to find a compromise between the requirements of your process, which um, sometimes require stiff materials or very rough materials, for example, for pressurized liquids or pressurized gases, and the requirements of a flexible um, um, coupling piece to decouple the pipe from the vessel's body. This is not always easy, but from a point of accuracy of the weighing system, it is inevitable. Thank you for attending this webinar. We hope you enjoyed the given informations. If you like to pose a question or send any feedback, please address it to matthias.rehren at minibea-intech.com. Goodbye, thank you.